Ok, aquí estamos. Entonces, uh, buenas tardes a todas las personas que incluso nos están siguiendo en la página Facebook de ESARC. Estamos en la tercera semana de, de, de clase aquí en el Diplomado en Diseño de la Vivienda Colectiva Contemporánea. ¿no? Y hoy tenemos el placer de poder escuchar el arquitecto italiano Simone Sfriso, al cual, digamos, le doy mi más profundo agradecimiento para aceptar, digamos, de impartir esta, esta conferencia. Entonces, os voy a leer muy uh, uh, rápidamente, uh, digamos, unos datos ¿no? del currículum de, del arquitecto o del arquitecto Friso. El arquitecto Friso es uh, uh, máster uh, en, en, en arquitectura por la Universidad uh, de Loyua uh, de Venecia. Ha sido uh, profesor adjunto en la Universidad de, uh, de Padova uh, y uh, visiting professor en la uh, uh, Universidad de Yacundé en, en, en Camerún y en la Universidad de Loja en, en Ecuador. Desde el 2018 es miembro del Cluster of Sustainable Cities de la Cosmo School of Architecture y desde el 2020 es un visiting professor siempre de la misma Universidad de Portsmouth. Ha sido uh, uh, embajador uh, italiano de diseño en el 2019, nombrados por el ministro uh, de los exteriores, ¿no? Y es uh, fundador, digamos, y director uh, principal de la oficina uh, TAM Associati, que es una oficina uh, italiana de arquitectos, ingenieros e investigadores, ¿no? Que, digamos, busca... Uh, soluciones uh, creativas ¿no? para responder a las necesidades contemporáneas, tanto sociales como de los cambios, de los cambios, de los cambios climáticos. Por lo tanto, Simone, te dejo la palabra. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Eres parte de este abanico ¿no? de arquitectos e investigadores internacionales que hemos invitado. Tuvimos la primera conferencia con tu, con tu colega, ¿no? con el arquitecta Stefania Ross, que se impartió en italiano. La, la semana pasada escuchamos una conferencia en brasileño, en portugués, y hoy tendremos el placer de escucharte. Te pedimos que impartieras la conferencia en inglés. Por lo tanto, muchísimas gracias y aquí estamos para escucharte, para aprender. Okay. Gracias. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, really kind invitation. Uh, I apologize, uh, no hablo español. Uh, so I will, uh, I will give this uh, lecture in, uh, in, uh, in English, but I've translated uh, some of the slides in, uh, in Spanish. So maybe it, it would be easier for you to, 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 to follow me in, uh, in, uh, in the lecture. Um, I will show you some of our recent works. Uh, most of them have been developed in, uh, in Global South, uh, in the African continent. And I will close with a small project, a church project in, in, uh, in Italy, a wooden, a wooden build project. Um, well, I can share my, um, my, my desktop. Okay, can you... Okay, can you can you see my desktop? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very well. So, um, well, again, thank you for your uh, for your uh, kind invitation. Um, I am one of the founding partners of uh, Thomas Ochati. Thomas Ochati is a, a firm uh, based in uh, in Venice, uh, in uh, in Italy, um, in the late nineties. And uh, in the last 20 years, we have worked uh, uh, mainly in, uh, in the Global South, uh, in, um, in, uh, in, uh, in African continent, but we have also worked uh, in, uh, in the Middle East, uh, Afghanistan, uh, Iraq, uh, and we have also, also done some, some works in uh, some projects in, in, um, in Ecuador and in uh, Nicaragua as well. And so uh, we have worked mainly on what are called uh, the um, global boundaries, uh, las fronteras globales. But uh, uh, first of all, I would like to talk about what 
it means for us to uh, the word uh, boundary or uh, frontier. I've tried to translate it in, in Spanish. I hope it is a it is a correct uh, correct Spanish. But what, what is a, what is a boundary? Um, this is a quote of uh, Massimo Arcangeli, who is uh, an intellectual and um, glottologist, an Italian glottologist. He says that uh, la frontera se divide, pero también es etimológicamente un lugar de Interscambio. Eh, se confío con alguien, es eh, alguien me une. Podré verlo y, y él podrá verme. Y el que importa es que estamos sobre el mismo nivel. No estamos confinados, de lo contrario, sería un confinamiento sin los vecinos. What, was, what it means for, that, uh, for us? It means that, uh, uh, in our point of view, um, the boundaries are a place uh, are not uh, seems uh, the global boundaries uh, not seems as a um, place of separation, place of segregation, but we like to consider them as place for uh, encounters. When we talk about boundaries, I talk about the physical boundaries, uh, but uh, mainly uh, about the social boundaries uh, and also the war torn. Uh, Boundaries. We have worked in uh, war-torn areas uh, such as uh, Syria, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, Iraq, and uh, the place where all um, the rights are denied to the communities, to the people. And so, what is important is uh, to try with our uh, with our work to to to, to build uh, bridges to bring. Uh, rights to bring uh, services to bring uh, uh, an attempt of uh, building uh, the quality of life uh, same quality of life that we have normally uh, used to achieve in our part of the world in the north part of the world in europe as well um, and to guarantee through our uh, social engagement uh, um, dialogue uh, service and, uh, and the rights uh, to communities to the, and to the places in which we are um, involved in our work. We have worked mainly for, uh, um, for um, NGOs, uh, for uh, pro bono associations. Uh, and, and so we have uh, uh, started uh, uh, this, uh, I can say, back and forth journey from the north to the south, uh, and it has mean for us a uh, uh, sort of uh, how can I say um, relearning uh, how to be architects, but also relearning how to be uh, citizens, uh, how to be uh, involved with uh, the community. As to do this, we always try to set up uh, um, participatory processes. We try to di dialogue with the communities. That means that we always uh, we search for um, the correct questions, and uh, and you can only try to raise the correct questions when you dialogue with uh, the people, when you uh, and when when you listen to the places, and uh, because. Uh, also, Alejandro Aravena, uh, artistic director of, of the Biennale di Venezia uh, 2016, says there is nothing worse than uh, a very a wonderful answer to the to the uh, incorrect uh, uh, question. So, dialogue, uh, 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 listening to the places and dialoguing with the communities uh, means for us to make arise arose the, 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 the correct question. In which we have to give answers with our instruments, the instruments of uh, architecture, the instruments of a project. I'm going to talk about um, three projects uh, have, that have been realized uh, with uh, three different uh, um, building uh, building solutions. With uh, we have worked with, uh, we like to, to experiment uh, different kind of uh, architectural solutions, different kind of uh, building solutions. So we have worked with uh, dry construction systems. We have worked with um, uh, Pizé, with uh, la, 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 la Tierra, and also with uh, Madeira. Madeira. And uh, so I will try to uh, communicate, communicate with you uh, so how we can use uh, building systems 
in order to uh, build a, a sustainable development uh, everywhere, everywhere and in every uh, condition. About the Obras uh, in seco, dry, uh, dry construction system. Uh, so why are we talking about uh, uh, Obras in seco, dry construction systems? Uh, because uh, uh, they are really, really, um, how can I say, uh, cost effective, uh, really, really fast, uh, and uh, um, we can uh, uh, try to achieve uh, uh, fast answers to big questions, especially in emerging countries, uh, in um, in uh, urban, uh, in big urban, uh, complicated urban developments such as. Uh, um, African uh, African uh, 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 cities, uh, but I, I can say uh, we can definitely find out the same questions, the same problems, also in uh, in, uh, in, other, in other parts of uh, the global south, such as Latin America as well. Also, um, India. I, I have also worked uh, uh, for a while uh, in uh, in uh, in India. So it means to, how can I say, um, try to keep together um, uh, timetables, uh, the quality and uh, uh, um, cost effective uh, uh, using uh, um, the possibilities that uh, uh, the innovation that uh, prefab systems can give you in order to 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 to, to get to, to give an answer to big questions and so uh, i've talked about uh, prefabricación integración total inexpensiveness la construcción de un edificio resistente la robustezza sismica as well so it means that uh, um, we can uh, really try to give uh, with uh, using uh, the, the industrial production and uh, the, the repetitivity of the industrial um, components uh, uh, effectiveness in our answers to the, to, to the question. I will, well, this is a, an experimental research. It is a, uh, the project for the reconstruction of a, a district in Kabun. Kabun is a, a district in, uh, in Damasco, the capital of uh, Syria. As probably you know, uh, Syria has been shattered uh, in the last uh, uh, six years by a, a civil war. And uh, big parts of, uh, of the country have been uh, destroyed. And in, uh, also, also the capital, uh, the capital Damasco, has been uh, a, war, a war-torn area, a war theater. Um, uh, Kabun, this history has been hardly uh, hit by the war, uh, by the bombs. So we have been dealing, we have, have to deal with uh, uh, huge problems of displacements, uh, huge problems of uh, refugees, uh, person that are. Or, needing to go back in their uh, in their uh, their city in their neighborhood uh, uh, as fast as possible so the attempt was to um to 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 to, to guarantee uh what can i say the same uh, quality of life the same uh, feeling of uh, genius logic in, uh, in a place that has been definitely completely destroyed. So this is why we have entitled this project Igual, Igual, Pero Diferente. It means that we have tried to learn from the genius logic. We have tried to start from um, understanding deeply uh, uh, how people were used to live. Uh, it was a deep research about the typical Arab uh, Arab house, the courtyard house, uh, uh, how to repurpose that uh, uh, also in uh, um, huge residential uh, intervention, such as this, where we were asked to, 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 to design an entire, an entire district. Uh, so we have 
proposed uh, a project based on the possible variations uh, uh, based on a, on a basic model and on a standardization of, um, of uh, solutions uh, with the objective to develop uh, uh, so, uh, solutions and strategies capable in uh, transforming uh, uh, a very simple, a very simple construction, uh, constructed construction, simple system in uh, in architecture. Um, so this, uh, the title igual igual uh, igual igual però differente in our point of view represents uh, a declaration and, and that explicitates an intention to respect the place, uh, but to give. Uh, an effective uh, answer to the need of uh, uh, reconstructing a place after uh, a war, after a, uh, after a conflict. Um, so I can go maybe uh, fa uh, very fast. Uh, we have uh, articulated the project in, uh, in four steps. The first step is the unit, uh, so the module basico de vivienda realizzato con sistema stepanelle fabricato, so the basic, the basic module, the cluster, so the aggregation of uh, different kind of uh, um, of modules of uh, of, uh, of housings, uh, the neighborhood, so the aggregation. Uh, the aggregation of, uh, of a certain number of clusters. And uh, finally, the district. The district is made of four neighbors for a total of a community of uh, 2,000 uh, 2, inhabitants. So um, we have started with a very, very simple and basic uh, building, uh, building uh, scheme. We have started with this very simple model. And uh, with this uh, uh, constructing sy uh, system made of prefab walls, uh, um, uh, dry constructing walls made of chimps, uh, and um, uh, ten centimeters or uh, centimeters of insulating uh, system. Uh, we, are, we have standardized uh, uh, the thickness of the walls. Uh, uh, in order to give very good good uh, answers in terms of sustainability, in terms of uh, uh, solar radiation, in terms of insulation, you have to consider that uh, Syria is a, is a place where, in uh, in summer, uh, you can have uh, um, uh, even also uh, 35, 40, more than 40 degrees, but in in winter. Uh, sometimes uh, the, the, the temperature goes low to low to zero degrees. So you have a very uh, wide range of temperatures from uh, summer to winter. So uh, you have to, 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 to very be very careful about uh, the questions of, 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 of uh, uh, the quality of building, about the quality of insulation. And uh, so, um, as you can see, we have started with this basic model, an eight, a more 18 uh, square meters model. model. And uh, from that, we have tried to, to assemble and uh, combine different kinds of uh, viviendas, different kinds of houses, type A, 58 uh, square meters, type B, 80 square meters, and type C, 120 square meters. So two, four, more, plus one, uh, uh, people and uh, a bigger house, uh, 124 plus two people. Um, so every every cluster um, hosts uh, um, um, 70, 70 inhabitants. That means that we have a, 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 a medium density of uh, 280 inhabitants uh, uh, for uh, in, in every in every hectare. Uh, the attempt was to have a simple system, but how the, 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 the challenge was to build a, a complexity, to build a variety uh, with, a, I can say, very banal system, a, a modular system. So some instruments of, uh, uh, of, um, of the, 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 I can say, uh, the juxtaposition of, of, of different houses, 
uh, were uh, um, made in order to, to build richness and variety in, in, inside the, 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 the neighborhood. We uh, didn't want to build a boring place, a place where you have a, a, a repetition of the same kind of house uh, uh, everywhere, but we tried to learn from the typical um, uh, Arab caspas, and we have tried to repropose a, a, a contemporary version of uh, the, 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 the Arab the Arab city, the Arab caspa. Uh, so from the unity, to, from the unit to the clay, uh, to the cluster, uh, from the cluster to the neighborhood, and from the neighbor neighborhood to the district. Uh, I'm showing some some schematic uh, schematic drawings. Um, if you like, maybe um, in, the, in the next days I can send you some materials, some PDF files, uh, if you uh, if are requested. If you if you want, I can send you some materials. And so I, I can send, send so and now I'm showing you some of some variations, some possibilities of this um aggregating the uh, system uh, every house uh, has its own patio the patio is very important for the arab culture because it it guarantees uh, the privacy for the family the privacy for the women so it means that you we are we have worked on different kind of levels of uh, open air spaces uh, the intimate, intimacy and the privacy of the patio, the, um, the semi-public uh, um, semi uh, uh, courtyard where five, six, seven units uh, are, are facing, and in the middle of uh, the cluster, uh, the cluster square, uh, the more public space, a space for the market, for markets, uh, for a space for um, uh, social gather gathering and so on. So different solution. This is a uh, uh, this is a project for a, a feasibility project for a um, uh, for a pediatric clinic. Uh, so uh, even for a public uh, public building, uh, we have uh, worked on the same uh, principles. Uh, the dimension of uh, the courtyard, the dimension of the patio, and uh, uh, the capability of the system to uh, to be repliable in um, different solution, but also for different uses for uh, houses, but also for uh, for uh, for public building as well. This is another pro uh, another shot of uh, the project. This is an, an, another another variation. Um, as you can see, uh, small windows uh, uh, in the walls uh, facing uh, the external walls, uh, and the big windows in the private uh, in the private uh, internal uh, patio patios in order to guarantee uh, privacy and intimacy in the houses. And uh, this is a, an, an overlook of uh, uh, the final composition of the wall. Uh, district of uh, of uh, Kabun, and this is the final exhibition that we have uh, set up for uh, for uh, for the commission. I have worked with uh, a group of uh, 20, 20 students of uh, this project, and uh, actually we are in the feasibility uh, project phase of uh, of uh, the, the the district. And uh, yes, as I said, uh, I, can, I can send you some materials if you if, if are if are required. Another master plan. Uh, we are changing uh, social, uh, physical, uh, and also uh, climate con context. Uh, um, this is a social housing master plan in Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital of uh, Cameroon. Cameroon is in the equatorial uh, area of, uh, of um, African continent. Uh, it is an emerging country. Uh, economy is growing faster. And this means that uh, there is a, a middle income class uh, 
are growing, but there's, there is also a huge request of uh, social housing uh, for uh, all the people that uh, from, are moving from the, the small settlements, from the villages to the city. And uh, again, the questions are really similar uh, than uh, the, other, the questions that I have talked about uh, in the previous project. Uh, uh, the demand in this case, we have worked for uh, an Italian building company and for the Ministry of uh, Social Housing of uh, Cameroon. And we were asked to, 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 to design um, uh, a master plan for uh, 10,000 uh, um, housing uh, uh, units. And so uh, a new town. Una, una ville nouvelle uh, for 40, 45,000 uh, inhabitants to be built uh, with uh, uh, prefab systems. So the first thing is the first step uh, that we is that uh, of, of the realization of the industrial base uh, for the realization of the prefab systems. Again, uh, dry constructing systems. Uh, uh, capable to build uh, uh, in uh, in five years uh, ten thousand units. Actually, we are working on uh, the detailed uh, design of uh, the first prototype uh, neighborhood uh, for uh, one thousand uh, uh, housing units. Uh, here we are. Cameron is, uh, is there in Africa, just in the, in the very middle. We are. Mm, in the boundary between the sub-Saharan area and the green uh, uh, equator uh, uh, African area. Uh, the, the, uh, the place, uh, uh, the plot uh, assigned for this project is uh, uh, 20 kilometers far from uh, Yaoundé. It is in uh, uh, Bangtomo. As you can see in the slide, this, uh, the idea of a ministry is to build a, se a series of, uh, um, of, uh, of the satellite, uh, small satellite cities connected with a, a strong public transport system. Uh, so the idea is not to uh, just to try to not uh, build any more in in the city but to build uh, small small places connected with uh, agriculture connected with uh, with uh, the environment connected with uh, with uh, the nature so the objectives are uh, are uh, all connected uh, one with each other so this idea of creating economic opportunities uh, while connecting public and private nectars to improve a diverse and vibrant community integrated with existing nature, as I said, and create a safe, secure, and prosperous place for life. Um, again, we, are, we have worked on three scales, the scale of a neighborhood, uh, 1,000 units, uh, with a, a, a series of, uh, of, um, of, a, of uh, public services, uh, what, that is very important. Uh, so the, the primary schools, uh, the libraries, uh, the secondary schools, uh, uh, churches and mosques, uh, uh, and sport fields uh, and public parks. At the scale of a district, uh, um, district uh, parks, uh, uh, sportive uh, sport uh, complex, uh, uh, banks, bureaus, offices, uh, cultural centers, and so on. And at the scale of, of the world community, uh, the, 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 the public spaces of the public buildings for culture, such as cinemas, uh, um, theaters, uh, secondary schools as well, uh, um, city libraries and so on. Um, so uh, we have worked on um, on the aggregation of uh, building units in order to build a, a, a courtyard clusters and uh, to bring together a sequence of cl uh, cluster units in order to build the neighbors. Uh, 
um, following the characteristic of uh, the, the terrain. The plot is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is we are uh, work, we have worked in a in a hilly uh, place, so we have followed the line of uh, the terrain, follow the line of, of the landscape. Um, uh, we have divided uh, the wall complex in uh, in two semi uh, semi neighborhoods uh, to Petitville, to small uh, two small cities. One is has been developed, the one on your uh, left, developed uh, around a hill, and uh, the second one on the left uh, developed uh, around uh, the the productive area that will be dismantled after all the, co the housing system will be realized and will be uh, replaced with a public, uh, with a public uh, park area. So as you can see, different kind of uh, services uh, placed uh, in the strategic uh, um, visual uh, areas of uh, the two the two complexes so uh, the main question in uh, this uh, case was how to combine quality uh, um, the, 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 the question of, of time in construction and uh, the cost effectiveness and the, the dignity of uh, the, the inhabitants uh, this is a photograph of uh, a typical um, housing uh, uh, neighborhood uh, uh, built uh, uh, by big uh, Chinese companies uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Africa. And it is, uh, as you can see, a sort of, uh, they have definitely took uh, um, typical towers, uh, housing towers, uh, Chinese topic, uh, Chinese tow uh, towers of, of peripheries of of uh, Shenzhen or uh, Beijing, and it seems that they have been parachuted in uh, in uh, in uh, in Africa with any kind of uh, relations with uh, uh, um, with the place, uh, with the request of, of the people, with. Uh, um, the idea of uh, housing that uh, 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 the Cameroon uh, people have uh, and uh, what, what they expect uh, from a, a cow, uh, house and what they expect from a neighbor, neighborhood, what they expect uh, in terms of, uh, of uh, yes, their own house, but uh, of quality of uh, the public spaces as well. And so uh, we have worked with the instruments of uh, architectural composition. We have started with a very banal, simple uh, structural grid. We have uh, articulated with uh, um, uh, an empty space in the middle. This means that uh, uh, we always try to um, put together uh, uh, the public space and uh, the private space of the house. Uh, and so the Again, uh, this idea of courtyard, this idea of building uh, around uh, an empty space, around a semi-public or a semi-public place. Uh, the articulation of uh, the functional models, uh, uh, light uh, systems for the facade, cost-effective system, but also the morphologic adaptation uh, to the landscape uh, and also an adaptation of a functional adaptation that means that uh, you can start from the basic model and, and then you can add uh, other models uh, when uh, uh, and if and when needed as well. Um, uh, in many projects, we have expanded, uh, experimented this idea to, to, to build uh, around an uh, internal space. These two pictures are, this, are uh, uh, the upper photograph is a um, housing uh, project uh, in, um, in uh, um, Sudan, and uh, the, the second photograph uh, is uh, uh, of a, a pediatric clinic in, uh, in Darfur. Um, in the very middle, there is this uh, huge tree, a sort of cosmic tree, uh, sort of center, symbolic center, 
uh, and it seems to us that we have built all around this uh, symbolic center represented by the tree. And uh, building houses is more like building public spaces, uh, building spaces for gathering and building and creating systems for relations of people. And uh, uh, we try to achieve this with very light and cost-effective uh, 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 architectural solutions, such as uh, uh, porches, uh, like porches built of uh, um, metallic grids uh, and uh, bamboo shading system, brisolets, uh, uh, in order to, to, to realize with very simple and fast uh, uh, systems, spaces uh, for markets, uh, sp spaces for, uh, for, for communities. And it also means uh, it's about you can just start uh, from, uh, from a basic uh, system and you can uh, implement it, uh, adapt it uh, um, in, a, in a mid or in a long time as well. Uh, well, this is an abacus. Uh, I'm not showing you the, the houses here today, but I'm showing you uh, the public, uh, the public buildings. Uh, because what is important for me to say here is that with the same uh, um, constructing system that I was, I have talked about uh, in the previous project. Uh, you can definitely achieve a, a, a variety in terms of shapes, uh, but also a variety in terms of uh, for uh, in terms of uh, functions, and uh, also using a very cost of cost effective and simple um, systems, uh, and also working with colors, uh, also working with uh, um, filtering spaces. Uh, uh, that gives you, I can say, a sort of, um, of um, insulation from the external spaces, the, st the streets, the public streets, and the internal spaces as well. Um, I can, I'm going to show them uh, very fast. This is a, a primary school, uh, a pediatric clinic, uh, uh, sporting fields, uh, sport, uh, sporting. Uh, um, um, functional systems, uh, the gardening and the, and the parks, uh, uh, the social cultural uh, um, spaces, and also uh, the sacred spaces such as uh, um, churches, uh, Catholic uh, or Anglican churches, or uh, uh, Muslim uh, mosques, and. Uh, uh, as you can see, um, different shapes uh, in respect of different face, faiths, uh, but uh, both built with the same basic uh, building, a uh, prefab building system as well, or a public works, a public um, uh, office uh, administrate, administration uh, building as well, or transport uh, stations, um, uh, commercial centers as well. Uh, well, I'm going fast here because otherwise I'm talking too long. Uh, uh, ladrillo. Uh, or earth, I can say. Um, I, I'm going to show you fast, fastly two projects. This is this is a project built in, uh, in uh, Uganda. Uh, our commitment in this case was uh, um, uh, a filmmaker, um, Mira Naira. Mira Naira is, is, a, is a, a very well-known Indian filmmaker. She has uh, uh, founded more than 10 years ago um, uh, a school for younger filmmakers uh, in, uh, in uh, Kampala in uh, Uganda. Kampala is the capital of Uganda. And the mantra of Mira Naira is, if we don't tell our own soul stories, nobody will. This means that uh, uh, in uh, an emerging country, such as uh, Uganda, uh, economy is important, uh, but uh, uh, culture, uh, to preserve the, the, the culture of a place, to improve the culture of the place is 
also as important as the uh, improvement of uh, the economic system, um, uh, uh, conditions of the people. Um, the first act, uh, this is a very small school with public, uh, public uh, open air uh, spaces in this uh, didactic uh, garden. The first as act was to build a very small um, uh, factory for the production of uh, the bricks. And uh, we have used the earth of uh, the, the, the hill the earth of the pla of, uh, the, of the, the, the plot. We have transformed the earth of the plot. We have realized the bricks. And after, and with the bricks, we have uh, realized everything, the, the walls, the ceilings, the floors, uh, the open air uh, paths and so on. So it is, uh, mm, I can say not a, a Kilometer, uh, kilometer, kilometer zero building, but it's more like a, a, a meter zero building because uh, uh, the earth of the place has been transformed, transformed in the building system that we have used for uh, for uh, for the construction. Uh, it is a work in progress. We have already realized uh, the external spaces, uh, this open air uh, classrooms. Uh, um, well, I have also a um, uh, short video. I don't know if you can hear uh, the audio. Uh, we can we can try. Can you can? Okay. Well, I can go on uh, about Earth. Um, we have experimented uh, uh, earth for uh, uh, as a as a as a building material uh, in an experimental um, uh, healthcare uh, project that we have already realized uh, uh, again in uh, Uganda. Uh, it is a, a center for excellence uh, for pediatric surgery that we have uh, designed in collaboration with uh, Orenzo Piano. Uh, in Sapiano building workshop and uh, it has been uh, all the walls has been have been realized in uh, in Pizé in um, uh, I don't know how to uh, how to say Pizé in, uh, in, uh, in in Spanish but anyway uh, it is a it is an, an antique uh, African uh, uh, building technique uh, means it has been uh, involving the construction with, uh, I hope it is correct, uh, La Tierra Pisonada. Um, this is uh, Uganda. Uh, Uganda is, is, is in the very middle of uh, the African continent. And uh, it is a, it is a uh, huge complex, uh, 100 bell, beds uh, hospital. Um, but it, uh, as for the request of the NGO emergency, uh, we have worked with uh, our commitment. Uh, uh, the first question wa was that uh, it had, had to be, again, really, really cost effective. But at the same time, we had to offer the same, uh, I can say, the same quality of uh, health care uh, in this uh, hospital, the same quality that we are normally used to achieve uh, in, uh, in, our, in, uh, in our country, in Italy, but also in, uh, in Europe as well. So it means that uh, uh, it is also um, say a political uh, act because uh, uh, it follows the, the idea that it does not, we don't have to um, have a, a, a serious uh, uh, healthcare in, uh, in the north of the world and, uh, and a B series uh, uh, healthcare in the south of the world. world. Uh, and so again, we have worked with uh, the earth and the earth uh, 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 of the place, uh, the excavation uh, uh, of, 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 uh, for the foundation uh, has been the first place where we have, we have uh, 
um, found the materials uh, to be transformed uh, in order to build uh, uh, the hospital. Uh, so, uh, well, I go a bit fast, otherwise uh, I will talk to too, too long, uh, but uh, anyway, I can, again, I can send you these uh, slides uh, if you are uh, maybe interested, if you have time uh, in the following days to, to, to 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 watch them. Uh, El pise uh, is normally used for very small and simple buildings in uh, Uganda, and this was the first time that has, was uh, used for a double floor building for a big uh, uh, hospital building. But uh, uh, as you can say, uh, as you can see. Um, the construction with uh, with earth with rammed earth uh, is normally used in uh, used in uh, in, uh, in Africa in, uh, in Asia and in uh, many parts of uh, of Latin and Central America as well. Uh, about uh, the sustainability. Um, a building with earth, earth gives a very good answers in terms of the uh, rendimiento termico della parete, in terms of uh, uh, the, um, uh, the possibilities to build uh, with cost effectiveness, effectiveness uh, and, and so on. And uh, what I've already told about uh, of uh, beneficios thermicos, the thermical uh, um, capacity of, uh, of uh, massive uh, buildings, of, uh, of huge walls to give uh, very, very good uh, um, answers in terms of uh, thermic uh, transmittance and, and so on. We have also worked with uh, renewable en energy, all the roofs, uh, uh, have been covered with uh, photovoltaic panels. Uh, we have a, a huge photovoltaic uh, system that uh, gives us a uh, uh, bit less than uh, 300, 300 uh, kilo, kilowatts. That means that uh, 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 all the elect electricity needed for the running uh, systems, uh, for M MEP systems of uh, of this building are guaranteed by uh, this uh, photovoltaic, uh, this huge photovoltaic field. So the phases of, of uh, the, um, the building, uh, la excavación, la reutilización de la tierra, la selección de la tierra, uh, encofrado, uh, basic uh, schematic section of uh, of. Uh, um, cofrado, la, 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 la fundición de la tierra. It is just about, uh, it is the same constructing system of, uh, of, uh, of um, reinforced concrete, but uh, here we don't have concrete, we only have uh, earth. Uh, secado, the, the time of it means, uh, it means that we, we need uh, about uh, uh, two weeks. Uh, uh, to wait before the, the, the wall is ready to be uh, built over with uh, other layers of, uh, of a round earth. I have a video, unfortunately you cannot uh, hear um, the, 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 the audio, but I, I'm gonna show you just a little part of the video, maybe talking on, uh, because just maybe I can go, I can go a bit faster because what I want to show you is, yeah, is here. As you can see, well, uh, um, we have worked uh, with uh, with um, local uh, local uh, workers with uh, local building companies, uh, and what was important for us was not only to bring. Uh, uh, architecture to bring a designer, but also to set up uh, 
training, uh, training courses uh, for the local communities. Uh, this means that uh, we have tried to bring uh, knowledge uh, and uh, to bring knowledge uh, in order to live something that could have been, uh, that could be uh, used again in, uh, in future uh, building sites uh, that will be set up uh, in, uh, this, in this part of our country. Uh, as you can see, the constructing system, the contracting uh, building, uh, building design uh, is really, really simple. So vertical walls and the round earth, uh, horizontal uh, ceilings uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, light uh, steel systems uh, and uh, dry constructing construction systems also for, uh, for, the, for the roofs as well. Um, well, I go a bit faster. This is a rendering of the, the, the hospital and some uh, photographs of the building site. At the moment, uh, it is finished already and it is uh, already open. Uh, well, I finish with uh, a project uh, realized in, uh, in wood. Uh, we have also experimented the wood uh, here in Italy in this back and forth journey. Uh, uh, we have, in a way, uh, this is a, a project important for us because uh, it, uh, in this project we have found something about what we have learned uh, in uh, working in uh, the global south, working in, in Africa, uh, and how this lesson for us has been important to uh, relearn how to be architects also in Italy, also in our part of the world, in terms of uh, uh, bringing simplicity, bringing uh, cost effectiveness, and bringing quality uh, without uh, using very, uh, expensive or sophisticated of or complicated uh, uh, building systems or complicated uh, uh, forms in architecture. Uh, in this case, we have worked with a cross laminated uh, um, wood, uh, uh, big panels, uh, wooden panels. Uh, uh, realized with um, with uh, pine uh, pine wood uh, that is the, mm, the more uh, economic uh, uh, wood uh, that you can find uh, in uh, in Italy, and uh, it was a reconstruction of uh, an existing uh, church, a church built in uh, in the peripheries of the Via Reggio. Uh, it was a prefab uh, church. Uh, and it was really in a situation uh, it was a, already in the end of life and so we had to demolish uh, the existing uh, uh, structure and to and rebuild it uh, it was an architectural composition and so we won the composition and then we have designed uh, the detailed, uh, the detailed design uh, project, uh, and we have followed the building site. Again, as you can see, uh, the central, we have tried to work starting from uh, uh, an empty space, uh, the central space represented by the courtyard, the courtyard that connects uh, the sacred space of, uh, of the church and uh, uh, spaces of uh, uh, for uh, didactic activities, for local associations, uh, uh, the house for the priests as well. And so everything uh, uh, turns around this, uh, this uh, center represented by, by the patio. Uh, when you work uh, with, uh, uh, with wood, uh, you have to be uh, and uh, with a, uh, totally with a, uh, prefab system, you have to be really, really precise during the design phase. Uh, and because all the panels are uh, uh, realized before, uh, are, and then uh, you bring the, the, the panels and you build them just like a sort of Lego system as well. 
Uh, well, I can go fastly here anyway. And so uh, in this case, uh, the design phase is really, really complicated. Uh, but okay, this is how we have tried to transmit this idea of simplicity uh, to the local com community. Uh, it was a, an idea of, uh, yes, demolishing of existing church, but in a way it was a sort of refurbishment of uh, uh, the form they were, were used to, to recognize as their own church. The renderings of uh, the competition, uh, some photographs of the building site, uh, 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 foundation, uh, the time foundation system, uh, the assemblation of uh, uh, prefab, uh, huge prefab uh, um, wooden panels, uh, as you can see, and uh, all the all the structure is built in uh, in wood. Too. So the wood the wood has been used for the vertical walls, but also for the roofs. Uh, for the, 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 the sheds, uh, the ceilings as well. So uh, the gyps uh, for uh, the finishing of, uh, of the, 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 sh the sheds uh, of a wall area and some photographs of, um, of uh, the sacred space uh, uh, with, this, uh, I can say, this very soft light coming from the north. Uh, this is a an industrial light in a way in the industrial system uh, as uh, the shading system of uh, of um, uh, huge industrial um, buildings so we have used this very simple uh, system we have redesigned it and and uh, we have used it for uh, for uh, for the church as well and some photographs of uh, Days of uh, the, the inauguration of uh, the building, the, the portico, the two porticos. This is the main portico, with main entrance to the church, and the portico that brings you uh, to uh, the, 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 the social, uh, the, the social center behind the church. And this is the entrance to the uh, to the social uh, social cultural center behind the church some visualizations of some photographs of the uh, of sacred space uh, uh, of the church. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, we have tried to, to, to work on this idea of democratic light. So we didn't want uh, uh, an idea of a dramaturgic light uh, coming from some specific spaces, but uh, you can find the same light uh, in all the parts of the uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, this huge uh, 25 per 25 uh, um, uh, room. Uh, this is the Baptist uh, uh, baptistry space uh, and some pics of uh, the ferial uh, the ferial chapel. The patio. And uh, important for us, the tree, an olive, an olive uh, tree that will be planted in uh, the symbolic uh, center of uh, the complex. And uh, the day was well, the day of uh, the inauguration. So some conclusions, very short conclusions. I will uh, read uh, the conclusions in my terrible Spanish. Uh, are two um, two quotes uh, to in Spanish you say citas I think some citas uh, of two master architects uh, of uh, of uh, the 20th century uh, Giancarlo De Carlo uh, is a, a great Italian architect uh, I will suggest you to, to maybe find out uh, some projects of De Carlo. Um, we consider them uh, uh, one of our 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 masters, and uh, especially when Giancarlo De Carlo says that uh, esfuerzo por organizar y dar forma al espacio físico es una necesidad urgente y una pasión humana. But at the same time, Oscar Niemeyer says 
that uh, l'architettura è sul pretexto, il ser umano è importante. Architecture is just a pretext, a pre a pretext. important is uh, a human being. Thank you for your uh, attention. Uh, thank you very much, Simone, for, for your lecture. I think uh, Thomas Ochatti uh, reads no, the, the, the environment, the identity to find the genius logic you know, of, uh, uh, of the projects. Uh, I think it's very interesting in, in your housing project, the, the in-between space, no? the little small plazas or the patios. No? Uh, that remembers me the Charles Correa or Bakrishna Doshi housing project no? yeah. uh, in, in India. Uh, so I, uh, I have for you a, a, a question no? about the, the human scale. Um, how much is important the scale control no? uh, for obtain an active, an active and interactive space for yeah. Damas? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, probably we have also already talked about this in a private conversation. Uh, instead of uh, building high, we prefer to, building, to build a, a horizontal. Um, and so our masters uh, in this case uh, has been uh, some great master architects of uh, the tropical modernism, uh, uh, as you said, uh, Charles Correa, uh, Balkrishna Doshi, but also uh, the horizontal uh, um, uh, social housing project uh, of Adalberto Libera in, uh, in Rome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the Charles Correa Lima housing competition as well. That's me, that means uh, is that, uh, as you can say, as you said, uh, but also uh, Luis Barragan, uh, I consider one of the great master architect, arch architects of uh, the 20th century. And uh, yes, this had, uh, a patio. The patio of the house is a space that you can measure with your with your body. And it is uh, uh, your own space. Um, uh, and so uh, you have tried to experiment in different shapes and different forms and different places, this idea of uh, uh, starting from basic models and uh, around an empty space, uh, around an empty private space, around this place of a private house, and two, three, four, five private houses uh, facing on a semi, uh, on a, the mid scale, on a semi-public space, and uh, uh, five, six, ten uh, clusters facing to a public, uh, uh, a bigger public space. So that means that you have a, a gradient uh, from the privacy to the semi-privacy to the, to, the, to the public space. This means that you can preserve the intimacy of a house, but at the same time you can have a human, you can gather with, uh, your, the, with the neighbors, you can have activities, uh, also uh, commercial activities. This is very important in India where we have worked, but also in uh, an African continent where very small economic activities, uh, market, uh, uh, market activities, uh, changing, uh, the daily changing, you know, the very spontaneous, uh, uh, also artisan activities are uh, the, the, the um, the streets often are uh, working spaces, are commercial spaces, you know, uh, informal commercial, commercial spaces. So we have tried to bring all this together, uh, but always starting with uh, from the intimacy of uh, the house. What is in really uh, uh, interesting for us is that uh, the same basic uh, Typologies you can say the same. You can find the same basic typologies uh, of patio houses in in India, in the Middle East, the Arab house, but also in uh, in um, Latin America, uh, built in the, the same uh, historic uh, moments. Um, uh, this means it's, it's it seems that with by. Uh, people uh, by populations or cultures, but probably didn't have any kind of uh, exchanges. I'm talking about 
uh, uh, housing projects uh, um, realized 2000 years ago. So this is really interesting. So how the, 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 the basic typology of the patio is, uh, uh, you, can, you can find it in different places, in different culture, but always giving uh, uh, the same answers uh, in terms of uh, the request of uh, uh, quality, the request of privacy, the request, the basic request of uh, uh, a human being. La Domus Romana, no? Yes, of course. So, uh, have you any question for the, the architect? Nobody? I have one. Sí, Jaime, por favor. Uh, yeah, so congrats for, for all your work. It, it's amazing and it is incredible how you have experience with these modules to create a, like a kind of a small city. But my, my question is directed to, um, have you encountered any, any barriers or any social uh, opposition against the materials you've chosen to, to build your, your, your projects? Like for example, the, the drywall that you, that you said you used in, yeah. in Africa, I think it was. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, oh, it is a it is a complicated question, you know, because um, from one side we were working with uh, uh, our commitment. Our client was a, a very big construct construction uh, company, and uh, he had a contract for building a, a, a huge number of house in a very short time. So the need to work with a prefab system was the only way to guarantee uh, the time uh, uh, that was assigned for, uh, for, uh, for the, the contract, but also to give in a very, a very fastly to give social houses for, uh, for the people because there is very, a huge request of housing. And so you have to be really effective in terms of giving answers in, in terms of time. Uh, at the same time, we have tried to, to uh, set up uh, public debates, uh, participatory process. We have tried to work directly with the local communities uh, in order to uh, set up a dialogue in order to understand uh, uh, from them which were uh, the requests are coming from uh, uh, families, coming from the people, but also coming from the communities. Uh, uh, this is why I've, I have showed you the photograph of a project realized by a, a Chinese company that has been, has been definitely parachuted in that place with any kind of relationship with the local culture. Uh, it is very difficult, you know, it, uh, when you work with... Uh, Participate, participation, participatory process. It is really delicate. Uh, you have to be ready also to manage the conflict. Uh, uh, but uh, it is it is correct that is uh, 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 there has to be also conflict because otherwise, if you go there and you say, okay, now I'm going to explain you what I want to do. Uh, and I'm going to do it with all my knowledge of, uh, of, uh, of an architect, of a professional. It is a sort of manipulation. Um, so it is a question of, uh, of uh, um, spending time and uh, listening. And uh, then, only then, to go back home in your own office and try to give an answer with our instruments, the instruments of composition, of, of, uh, of, uh, of architecture. Understood, thank you. Thank you. Any other question? No? So, Simone, thank you very much for your lecture. It's, it was a pleasure for me. Yes, it was a pleasure for it was a really a pleasure for me. Uh, uh, I apologize that uh, I'm sorry that uh, we have done this in uh, 
in in remote, but uh, unfortunately, due to you know uh, COVID and uh, uh, healthcare uh, quest the problems, uh, it is really difficult to to, to travel at the moment. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, maybe next year. Uh, hope, I hope the situation situation will be far better than now. And will, I would really love to come to 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 to, 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 to Mexico to, to to talk dialect with uh, with you and to meet you. Okay, okay. So see you soon, Simone. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.